The thing is, is that <laughs> when I'm just as bored while he's taking his time. Okay, men, how many of you like going shopping with your wives? <laughs> you do? All right, we got one, only one. Most men do not like going shopping with their wives because we take forever. We're going through every single detail on the rent because why? We're going to go to five or six different stores because we know all the stores that sell that same type of shirt and we want the best deal, right? Right. So it's the same thing with Hassani at a bookstore. How boring is that? He's going through every single book. He's in every aisle. He wants to read for hours and I'm bored. And so the sacrifice that I make to sit there, let me find something that interests me, let me look at a magazine and do something about before we get to the shopping part, you know, is the same sacrifice that I expect him to give me and sit in that floor, bored while I run my mouth, while I'm working. And so when you have that kind of reciprocity, then you feel fulfilled. You feel love, your love take is full because you know that the sacrifice that you're putting into that spouse, he's going to put back into you. Now, as relates to uh, body language, this is where this comes in. Showing genuine interest through your body language, through your tonality, right? And smiling, your facial expressions. Because when you look engaged, you feel as if your, your spouse is really connected with you, they're hearing you, right? And so, so the cell phone thing is huge because in this age of technology, you will almost kill somebody if you don't have access to your phone. <laughs> Right? And oftentimes you're multitasking, you're communicating with your wife or your children, and you're texting at the same time. And it's really disrespectful because it's not giving your partner full attention.